what is going on everybody this is everything nerdy bringing back another video for you beautiful people out in the internet um as the title suggests getting paid browsing the internet and you're probably thinking how oh, you do that you can't get paid browsing the internet it's impossible well i'm here to tell you you can as uh i found this app called brave and I'll leave a link to the affiliate link so you can download it, try it, and start earning um, BAT, or basic attention tokens, which is a cryptocurrency based on the ETC20, which is Ethereum uh, blockchain. And so that's going to allow you to get basic attention tokens that you can use to either support me, which I am affiliated both on Twitch here and here on YouTube. And uh, you're probably thinking... Well, it's not another live stream, and I don't want to support you because you're just another person that does it. Well, that's because I'm going to tell you, uh, if you go to, which I'll show in this video, if you go to batgrowth.com, you can see all the affiliated people, such as MXR, and all, which is somebody that I watch, and you could uh, donate these uh, basic attention tokens to them, and they get money. And uh, so what Brave is supposedly doing, and it's founded by Brendan Eich, who is the father of JavaScript and the co-founder of Mozilla Firefox, which is another big, heavy hitter web browser. He's also did Netscape, which, uh, if you remember, I'm <coughs> showing my age, uh, Netscape used to be a good browser in the early 2000s. So he's around, and Brave is built on the Chromium, so it is basically Chrome. Um, just open sourced version of Chrome. Chrome has a lot of um, things that Google has baked into, such as trackers and stuff like that. Well, this one has a built in ad blocker as well as tracking. Um, so you're probably thinking, well, how do you get paid? Uh, well, that's the thing is with the basic attention tokens, it gives you ads. But you're probably thinking that. I don't want to watch ads and I have to watch ads to get money. They make no sense. Well, that's because they're specific ads baked into the program. They immediately put all the ads into when you download it. So it's not tracking your history. It's not tracking what you're doing. It's basically tracking what you do in the, the browser and stays in the browser. It's not going to Brave. It's not going to a third-party company. Um, the c publisher, or I should say the advertisers, basically pay BAT to Brave and then Brave distributes that to, they keep 30 while you get 70%. So that keeps them to help put new features and all that beautiful stuff into the browser. Uh, so you're thinking, well, if it's, an, it seems like an oxymoron, like getting paid to watch ads that essentially cuts out ads. Is what? Well, that's because, like I said, you can opt in to watch ads. Like I said, it doesn't track you. It just gives you ads based on your b browsing behavior when you do stuff. And you could use that basic attention tokens to tip creators like me. And we get money. And we could turn that cryptocurrency in to tip you guys back. Or we can cash out on it. If you don't want to tip anybody, you can also cash out on that money to either use for Ethereum. Because BAT is, like I said, based on the Ethereum blockchain. Or you could turn it into Bitcoin through the uphold, and I'll show you. So this is going to be a very lengthy video, but I'm going to go into a lot of process. So I'm going to show you right now what the dashboard will look like. So when you first load up, of course, this is what my dashboard. And like I said, I've been using it for weeks, so it's kind of a little not as good uh, but you can see these are all of my chrome and it's like I said it's based on chrome so these are all of my bookmarks that i imported from chrome uh, with these two uh, being imported from my phone um, one of them is a new one this one's just for work uh, but with using it for the past week i've blocked 11,200 ads and trackers as well as the https which is the http uh, uh, S, which is the secure protocol, um, that's been upgraded. So if a server has been able to uh, upgrade to a secure protocol, it automatically does it on the fly. So I've saved a total of 10 minutes of just browsing the internet because it's faster, because it's loading web pages faster because it's blocking all the ads and trackers. Um, and I've wanted to try it out. I've completely cut myself out from all completely uh, Google based software. Of course, I have an Android, so that you're probably thinking that's an oxymoron. But I've also been, instead of using Chrome built on my Android, I've also been using it on my phone. That's why I have a couple of uh, phone bookmarks here. Um, so that's kind of 
trying to give it, like I said, I've only been using it for a week. As you can see, that this is where the magic happens. It's the Brave Awards is what you mostly want to do. Uh, so when you first start up, it's going to walk you through steps. And when you do, you're going to have your wallet. And your reward setting, settings, it's automatically going to do to auto-contribute. So this is where if your um, person is um, enabled into the reward system, you can donate a certain percentage of bat to a YouTuber. Uh, and it automatically does it out of your bat system. Um, I want to tribute manually, um, especially with the people that... Um, are enabled and I can show you the website too um, and this one you want to check brave awards and then check ads uh, this is going to give you custom tailored ads based on your browsing history that doesn't track you like Google or anything like that especially with the COPPA that's going around um, where it has to track you these ones are all the ads built into the browser nothing leaves the browser it's more secure that way as well um, you create an uphold account, and this is where I say you can change it into bitcoins or cash out on it. Uh, when you go into your uphold account, it's going to look like this. Um, of course, I have my Twitch because I'm also verified as a Brave user on Twitch. And then YouTube. So you, when you get um, a Brave points, you can also tip me. And it'll help me out so I can either get new equipment or do giveaways on this channel or on Twitch. And then just for me when I cash out, just browsing normally. I can then turn it into Ethereum, Bitcoin, or cash out into USD um, for, for other stuff. So say uh, one day I want to, um, and like I said, this is cryptocurrency. So it's going to be, you can use other websites for cryptocurrency as long as they're set up for it. And transfer it into Ethereum or Bitcoin and pay that way as well. Um, or you could just use your USD and send it to, straight to your bank. It's up to you. Um, but of course, I've only been using it for a week, and as you can see, I've already made 0.7, which is 15 cents, uh, which is not bad for using it for a week, especially with all this. I've, I have a lot more on my phone because I use my phone a lot more. Um, of course, that's just the nature. I'm constantly either at work having to look stuff up for customers since I work at JCPenney, and so I have to constantly look up good deals, uh, see the coupons that we have going on. Uh, of course, I could use the JCPenney app, but most people don't want to download the app, so they'd rather go to the website, so I do it that way. I also look up my schedules and stuff like that, so I have a lot more BAT. I have about like two BAT tokens, which is equivalent to like a dollar or something on my phone, which I can then tip to myself to kind of do it since it's not synced, um, which you could do easily. Um, this is where I wanted to show you. The batgrowth.com is where I was talking about. The ba Brave browser is constantly getting new um, people accessed to the um, browser, basically. And uh, this is where I was talking about where they're verified. Uh, you can then tip them based on what this. So if I s say I could do a monthly or I could just send a tip and say one bat, I could send that to them and it'd be good. And then, unfortunately, I don't have any bats, so I can't tip this website. But it'll be look like that. Even if I go to my Twitch, um, which I'll show you too. You go to here. It's verified. You can send me a tip. Same with my YouTube channel, obviously, you're looking on here. But this is where you can look and see how many YouTube people. Um, maybe your YouTube person's on here. And I'll sh type in me just for the sake of this video. Whoops. course we're on here it automatically sends to YouTube ch channel and then you could tip me there um, and it's not only based on that you can do websites so you, it shows you different websites uh, that are able to be tipped um, and not only does that it also goes to twitch publishers Twitter reddit Vimeo um, github and soon SoundCloud's going to be coming out um, and this just tells you the uptrend, as in currently right now there's 203 or 243,225 people on YouTube that are verified for a Brave for tips, as well as 41,131. Uh, and just you can look at the statistics um, and how many bat addresses as the wallet for uphold has been created um, due to people coming in. You may thinking, well, okay, what's the point? You're skipping ads to watch ads to get paid. That don't make any sense. Well, say you go to ESPN, okay? 
Everyone loves ESPN, especially with the Super Bowl. Okay? We'll go to ESPN Go. Instantly. Loads everything up, no problem. There's no ads, nothing like that. It's super seamless. Everything loads up pretty quick. Ad right here? Nope. Sorry, I can't see it. Um, it makes it super simple. Not only that, is you can see the Brave Shield, and that's what blocks everything. You could also have a super granular control. So I've, I'm constantly blocking a lot of ads. And you can see, here's all the stuff that is being either tracked or ads that are popping up. And it's making it super simple. You could also see that, unfortunately, ESPN isn't part of the HTTPS server pro uh, protocol for secure. Um, and if it was secure, it would tell you how many times you've been upgraded to the HTTPS secure protocol. Uh, you can also block scripts. So say most ESPN is a JavaScript uh, website. So you see how this video, if I block scripts, it's going to stop it and it won't play. So unfortunately, if you don't want all that crap, you can block it. Um, the funny thing is, as you say you come back here at this specific website and this specific article, it will remember those settings. So if I go straight to ESPN's main website right here, and I disable scripts or any of these settings, um, it's going to remember that. So when I come back later, I don't have to keep adjusting it to every single website. It automatically keeps it. It will remember what website that you had these settings. Um, and like I said, Brave won't know what settings you've done it's all internally through the browser it like I said what happens in the browser stays in the browser uh, kind of like what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas this is the same thing um, whatever you do in this browser cannot get tracked brave doesn't even know it's all encrypted uh, so they don't even know what you're browsing basically as well as a private um, web browser so say you want to go anonym anonymously for some weird reason you can do it with Tor, and Tor is a completely bri uh, private uh, web browser. It, it masks, it's basically a VPN. It masks your IP as well as your any of your information. So you say you go to specific adult websites, uh, your IP would be masked as well as your history. Uh, so it's very secure. Only downside is it's very, very slow because it's masking a lot of the uh, big data that your normally computer would spit out and like everything and it then munches it down to try and make it more secure that way um, so if you're very like private conscious about security and everything Tor it's not specifically like Tor's browser um, but it's kind of cool to see this baked into a chromium based op open sourced web uh, browser um, the good thing is is like I said you can import any of your, um, since it is Chrome, which is open, uh, Chromium, which is open based Chrome. You can import any of your uh, bookmarks from Chrome as well as any of your extensions. So I, I'm very big on LastPass, which is a password security manager. I have it on my phone and here and it syncs up. So I don't, if I do something on my phone, I can go back later on my PC and don't have to, like, oh, what was that password? As well as the video IQ. Um, gives me a lot more in-depth of video statistics and stuff like that. Those I mostly use on Chrome. Of course, since it being Chromium, I could port it over. You can have a lot more settings. You're probably thinking, well, it doesn't look Chrome because you have it blacked out. The good thing with this is you can change all the settings. So you can have all well, your privacy, security, payment, uh, printing system, your shields, which gives you, like I said, I have it set to the advanced because I'm a very person that likes to tweak very simple stuff. Or you can have it in a simple view. So when you go to here, it just gives you a super simplistic. Um, but I am a big tweak head. I like to tweak everything to my specific standards. I like That's why I have an Android compared to an iPhone because iPhone's very locked down. But that's besides the point. I digress. It's a whole different thing. Um, I have it changed. Like I said, I'm changing everything over from a completely Google free um, experience. So I'm using DuckDuckGo and that's a free uh, open sourced, um, I guess you would say free open sourced search engine. Uh, and you can of course, if you want to stay Google or Bing, which I swear to God, I use Bing, that's a completely different story. You should be shot 
And you're probably thinking, Well, Ben's not that bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, then you're probably brain dead. Um, so you could either stick with Go or, or Google. Um, I'm just going with DuckDuckGo just to completely get me um, a little bit of a different, um, especially in 2020. Um, things are being changed. So you're probably thinking, well, okay, if it's like, um, if it is a cryptocurrency based on the Ethereum, well, how much is, um, the bat worth? And I'll tell you, whoops, if I can, there we go. Uh, it's right now, it's at 22 cents. Um, it ain't no 8,000, like, uh, yeah, so it jumped down. Yesterday it was like 22, nine something. Uh, and now it's 21 cents. It ain't no $8,000 like Bitcoin, um, but which is still not bad. 22 cents per bat. Um, so, I mean, you could, of course, trade this. Um, but the whole point of bat is to, for you, is to get into, use the web browser how you normally do, get these ads, to then use these ads to tip publishers such as Wikipedia, or in my case I watch a lot of MXR for Fallout 4 and Skyrim mods, uh, so I could tip him that and he'll get whatever the ad was sent to me, I could tip it to him and send it to him a small portion. Um, of course they'll have weekly things that are going to be popping up where you can get like 20 bat just for claiming it little pop-up promotions and stuff like that without even watching ads um but of course um it's not gonna pop up a little ad uh, picture uh but it'll pop up like a normal windows update where it'll be down of course you can't see um so i'll move my camera it'll be down here where it's like a little windows update it's like here watch the ad you click it it'll bring you open up a new tab and it'll show you the ad. You have to spend at least 30 seconds. Most of the ads that they sent me are actually kind of interesting. So I actually kind of read them. Um, they actually, I hate to say it, grab my attention. Uh, so you click it. Um, and it'll pop up. Uh, most of it's showing, since I mostly use it for either YouTube, watching anime, or I do a little bit more research onto this. Or just in cryptocurrency, because I think it's kind of cool. Um, which is weird, but tech head cryptocurrency, you think that's kind of cool. Uh, so I do a little bit, I've been starting to do a little bit more research in cryptocurrency because uh, a couple of people at work were talking about it. And so it's been giving me cryptocurrency type ads or Amazon ads um, for like hardware wallets for cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. Um, and of course, like I said, you spend 30 seconds to get your bat, um, basic attention token, whatever that be, may be. And then you get paid just for spending 30 seconds of your time. Uh, and then you can click off and do what you were doing and it won't be too abrupt. And you can, of course, get super seamless, easy web browsing. Another one. This has some ads right here and right here. Um, those aren't on there. Um, Amazon ads. Oh, this is the affiliate, but Amazon ads will pop up. This one... For YouTube, um, I don't use this one this often. Ads will pop up on here as well. Um, so it's like super simplistic. Like I said, I've blocked that much. Uh, and this just keeps going up the more I use it. I've saved 10 minutes of browsing, which upgraded it super fast. Um, so like I said, it, since it blocks a lot of the um, data that's being tracked in Google and stuff like that, it makes it super seamless. So it's a lot fast, responsive. I've had no hiccups or anything like that. Um, and like I said, I'll report back onto this after, um, like I said, this is only my one week impression. And I'm so far really liked it. So I'll leave a link up here at the top. Um, that should be popping up. And um, I, I'd fully give it a shot. Um, it doesn't hurt you. You can use the link right here. Um, and it would help me out. You'll also help you out because you would also get some bat right off the rip. Um, for even downloading it and trying it. And it's Chrome. So everyone knows the familiarity of Chrome. They're used to it. They use it on everything. Phone. Uh, their computer. Chromebook. Apple. Mac. Whatever. Everyone uses it over the stock. Internet Explorer. Safari. Um, so that's just how people are used to. So with the same layout. It's going to be the same thing. Um, I Like I said. I'll, I'll report on this within the next couple months as I put it through its paces more and get more bat and seeing how um, 
the uphold bat res uh, system works um, I'll get payout on February 5th uh, so give it around March April when I report back to you and give my full extensive review on it but this is just what I've been experiencing like I said use the fill link it'll be here it'll also be down in the description um, and I'll leave both so if you want to use the twitch one or the YouTube one doesn't matter um, if you are watching me on both uh, on twitch or YouTube um, you could use whichever one um, and try it out for yourself it's on mobile iOS Android um, obviously on PC Mac Linux um, so it has a lot of like I said, it's by Brandon Yuri who created JavaScript who created co-founding of Firefox and Netscape so it's backed up by a good team um, and I'll put it through his paces and hopefully you guys give it a try if you have any questions or comments and you want me to answer leave them down in the descriptions I'll get back to you guys um, I do constantly look at the comments or whatever comments I do have um, and if you have questions on setting this up or how to get the bat or just want something like a good type of question that revolves this uh, how to set it up how to import stuff um, I'll gladly walk you guys through it and uh, hope to see you guys donate to your favorite youtubers or twitch or publishers and uh, spread the money and spread the word and hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.